Hello, today we are going to explain uh, another fascinating and amazing weapon from the seas and tradition that is called Kumayari. This, kumu, this kuma comes from the, from the noun for beer in, in Japanese and Sijengo itself. And uh, yari, you know, it's for spear. Then it's the the beer spear. But uh, the origin of the, of this name is because the season used to hunt beers with this weapon. This weapon is a long uh, pole, a long staff that will have in the tip several hooks distributed in order to be capable of restraining. Uh, an enemy with this kind, of course, this is built without the without the goal of uh, harming, because uh, we are trying to to be to to, to care with our, of our partner. We are concerning about that. Uh, we have uh, built it up with uh, PVC uh, stuff and with several hooks, with the idea of uh, reminding how this weapon works. And explaining to all of you these, uh, the, the usage of this weapon. Then, this kumayari, as I have explained, was used in the beginning for hunters in order to hunt bears. Uh, they used to employ this weapon because they need to be far from the strength and the force of a, of a beer, and they used to employ the hooks as a way to um, restrain the limbs. Of the of the of the beer. After that, they used to employ this kind of weapon in order to uh, in order to restrain and hunt also samurai, hunt also warriors. It doesn't matter if they are in uh, if they are if they walk or they are uh, riding a horse. They are horsemen because the idea of this weapon is that. Uh, the origins for the techniques, most of them has what is uh, kazumi. Kazumi it means uh, it means mist or haze. This mist or haze uh, mean because the the way to hunt was usually on winter because they use this uh, lens in order to go to the to the caves of the beer in order to wake up from 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 the wake up the beers in winter and uh, taking uh, taking them out with this w with this weapon then all the names of the employment of this weapon will uh, be attending uh, this kind of nomenclature then uh, i will be explaining some of the techniques in order that you understand uh, how this weapon will be applied in front of a samurai remembering that this uh, it's a very ancient weapon and after a more uh, sophisticated weapon like the like the sodegarami was uh, employed in a very similar way of usage remember that the sodegarami it's a, it's a, a large stuff with several pipes uh, several uh, thorns in the tip that will be uh, rolled in the in the clothes of the of the enemy. Then, mm, in order to explain how this works, uh, I will be uh, with the help of uh, my student Oscar San. Please, on the next map. Take a look that I am where I am carrying also sword because for the uh, for the usage of this uh, of this weapon it's very important uh, to also carry a sword because it will be the end for the hunting that that we will be performing. Uh, the first technique that we will apply is what is called uh, what is called oka. This O comes from yoko, that means the side or side to side, and this ka is the is the onjomi for kasumi. It's like the like the mist horizontal. Then, for this way, we will do the following thing. Take a look that the length is uh, more than uh, than the than usual in a yari, and when the enemy will be coming to us before we go pass passing by the side, take a look, passing by the side and rolling over the sobe like that. Remember that in the past they will be using long sleeves, but in this case I have asked uh, Oscar-san 
to pick up a little the sleeve in order to be capable of restraining for that point. After that, what they will use is to twist the sobe in this way. And after that, coming down to the ground. After falling to the ground, we will pass the staff over the enemy to that point. We will step on. And from here, I will be release a little my pressure and my weight. From here, I will take out the sword and will be capable of killing the enemy without with this control that you are, we are controlling the scapular weight and also of that where I could cut. And this was one of the applications of this uh, kind of attack. The next method to apply is what is called ikikau. Ikikau means to come and go. It's like entering and after returning with a violent movement that will restrain the enemy. In this case we will be catching also the sobe or also we could go for the lapel for the uh, eri. And in this way, the first thing we will I will be far from the enemy and I will go directly and going down in order maybe to catch not only the, the eri or uh, the lapel, we could also go for the tatsuki in this case or also if we are dealing with uh, an armor warrior we could go what is what is called takahimo. The takahimo is the the rope that we all uh, have a control of the sobe of the so over the shoulders. Then the idea from here, if I uh, take care, please. If I am restraining from the tatsuki, what I will do is the same. I will twist, and after that, I will go to the ground. After that, remember that we are not having any kind of uh, of uh, edge in the tip. Then from here we will pass to the other side and from here I will step on I will be taking care of my partner and of course taking on my sword in order to end remember that in this technique what we have done is to go further, to go deep and after that returning with a movement that will of course will uh, be uh, very surprising for the enemy. Remember that these kind of techniques, especially for the citizen uh, weaponry, will be used on, uh, on situations, on circumstances that will be hard to see what is happening, especially on, uh, on evening fighting or also in uh, dark fighting that will be difficult to expect something uh, and the surprise has a very relevant effect on the enemy. Then, for the next one, is the following is called what is called Sayu Ka. Sayu Ka, Sayu is from left to right, and Ka is from Ka to me. It's the same from the from the first technique. What we will do here is the following. I will try to go for the Hakama, in this case for the one Ashi, in one side, and he will retreat, he will get away, he will, uh, he will uh, notice what is happening and will take out the left backward. After that I will go with the second movement here. The idea here, taking the Hakama, is twisting one more time and going the ground. After that, I don't have space right now because the idea is to pass over the body in order to control completely the trunk. But I will do it on the on the waist in order to what how to apply that. Anyway, we are also pressing on the on the on the calf. We are pressing here, and it's a very powerful pressure. And from here, of course, we could take out and cut. This kind of cut is a bigger difference on the uh, Sodegarami. Sodegarami used to employ several opponents in order to catch uh, the enemy and other one will be piercing, will be uh, striking the enemy in order to end. In this case, this main strategy is to employ this weapon in, uh, in addition with a sword. Then it's one of the characteristics for this Kumayari. I will help your Oscar san to take out the knot on the hakama, okay? And let's go to another one. This is what is called a uh, ashi, but we could go also for real ashi. It will be the same, but not only catching this leg. 
it will be also for catching the ball of left and from here rolling around and taking control of both legs this is what is called Rio Asi the last one that we will explain today is what is called Yoka Yo it comes from Ue that is over and Ka comes from Kasumi one more time that is for uh, the mist or haze that what we will do is when we are wanting to, to drop the, the helmet, the kabuto from the from the enemy then in this circumstance what we will do is I will stand here and I will go to the helmet in this case I am going close to the uh, close to the tatsuki but the idea is to, to to grip the helmet and from here taking out a strong after that we could go what it's called shoto de that is the first thing that we have done that it's by the outside but we could go also by the inside and from here catch him here and twisting and going downward okay that this is the next the next possibility that we could offer then if we make a small summary of what we have performed several methods could be applied on this kumayari to restrain the enemy the first one it's called oka that is when you are going sideways in order to make the movement in order to control the enemy the second one it's called ikikao that it's going uh, it's to come and go to say entering and after returning the next one is called sayuka it's when you attack on several directions the first one on the left the, se the second one on the right or vice versa and finally what it's called yoka that it's going upward the goal uh, the target that we have wanted to to reach it's mainly what are the the long sleeves the sole but also you could go for the uh, Hakama or the Ashi and also Ryo Ashi that is both legs and of course other kind of, uh, of, uh, of ropes or parts that you could that you could enroll that it's like the Takahimo from the from the uh, Yoroi from the door of the Yoroi and also what it's the uh, the Tatsugi that is also very very easy to to find that's uh, very easy to reach with the hooks that you have on the Kumayari then this is a very very special uh, weapon and strategy from the season uh, tradition and I hope that you have enjoyed it thank you very much and keep watching our channel see you